Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Train of Thought. I'm your host Eniko and I will be playing with trains and giving you thoughts. Um, sorry that this episode um, took so long to make. I was a bit chat lagged. Turns out that's a thing that happens. But it's okay, I've, I've recorded some DIY for you and I'm recording this and I might record the special. So there's lots of stuff coming up again. So sorry, I'm a terrible person. I know. Because I didn't know what the hell I was doing last time, you might notice this map being open. I am going to make a big oil thing, transport thing, because it's very hard in like furs to, to find matching industries. So I've got all these oil feeds fields here you can see in the blinky, the blinky thingies. And um, I, I'm i gonna take all of that to this oil refinery and then that's gonna take make stuff that I can take further northeast to um, where, where we're actually doing st things. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. It's not gonna be very involved so I can talk more about stuff and things. Because as a reminder, this is a vlogging show. This is this is not a proper let's play. If you think this is a proper let's play, then you're in the wrong place, probably. So as always, this is so annoying. Like, did, did you really have to put those there? I mean, really? Really? Actually, I'm gonna make this a really big one because this is gonna grow and then envelop the entire station eventually. Barning Head Portland. There are too many place names in your place names. Please try again. Sorry, little house, you were you were not meant for this world. I don't actually know if I wanted to have it like there. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Am I paused? I am paused. Let's not pause. Because pausing is for people who can't deal with Time passing. Yeah. So I went to America and um, I did Momocon and that was fun. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Boop, boop. And I'm gonna remove this. No, I'm not gonna remove that one. You know, be that way. See if I care. There, I just bought that land. You can never build a new new thing there. Let's see what I need. Um, yeah. So, um, I went to Momocon. And that was fun. That was in America, but it was like, I say it's fun, but it was really exhausting. It was like working days and days and nights and forever and ever and ever and ever and until you cry, basically. No, I didn't cry. How dare you imply I cried. But no, the, the response to mid-boss was really good. And it was a really good experience to be at a convention and, you know, watch just so many people play my game and just get really into it. It, it was really good. It was really, really good. And then, like, um... I, I stayed in St. Louis for a while, and I really, I like America, it's a, it's a good place, and St. Louis is a, is a nice place, so if you're from Missouri, you know, well done, good job, except for, like, we were in a, in a farmhouse when a tornado struck, like, 20 feet off the farmhouse, that was a bit scary, it ripped up a ginormous tree, I fear what it would have done if I had been, if, if it had hit the house. I have so much money, I have like three and a half million, I wish I had that much money in real life. That would be nice. What am I even doing? I'm just talking without doing anything. Okay, so we have like one, two, three oil fields here and then one, two over there. So we're gonna start all the way. No, we're not gonna do that. Are we, Are we gonna do that? We might do that. Let's just do that. We're gonna start with this one. Are you even oil fields? You are oil fields. Why do you look so weird? Oh, because I've had x-ray mode on. That's fine. Um, 
then, like I mentioned in uh, my vlog, my plane decided not to go because storms. Uh, my, my trip involved a lot of storms, you may notice. Um, let's see how we're gonna do this. Oh man, that, that is far away. And I forgot where my oil feeds at the fields are. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a bit of a thing. I'm unfortunate. I'm there. I've lost the ability to speak. And it's the end of the year, and there's a lot of these things, and it's very annoying. So then I just decided to stay for the 4th of July, which was an extra two weeks, which is why there were no videos. And then I got jet lagged, which is why there were no videos after that. And it's all very unfortunate, really. Are, are these the ones? Yes, these are the ones. Okay. So, all right, I know. They're so tiny, you can't see them when you zoom out. It's very annoying. Okay, they're over here. So they're over here. And that is over there, so we need to be roughly around here. So, here-ish. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna do something very environmentally unfriendly. Boom! Now I can see what I'm doing! It's, it's, it's like a Christmas miracle. It's the Christmas miracle, that is. Okay, I think these are both different oil fields, so I have them both. Are you? Oh, they're all... Which one is this? Oh, that's the Nunford one. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I've started making five long um, things, but that's a thing. So yeah, storms were definitely, uh, like, it's hard for a European to understand really how different the weather is in America. It's kind of crazy. It really kind of is. Just, yeah, built that there. Actually, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should not have done that. I, I apologize profusely to nobody in particular. Yeah, it's hard to understand how different the weather is, especially, I, I mean, maybe I'm speaking for too many Europeans at once. That is entirely possible because I am a Dutch person, but I've also experienced the weather in France and in the UK and in Denmark and a couple of other countries. Okay, now comes the easy part, well, presumably. Oh, wait, we have to go through here, don't we? This is a mountain. And it was never as um, stormy or rainy as Missouri. I assume weather isn't that awful in all of the United States. I think it's just Missouri that's like super bad. But you know. If you're from America and you have um, an opinion on extreme weather, leave, leave it in the comments because that makes my videos perform better on YouTube. I'm not very good at enticing people to do stuff for me, am I? I'm really not. I'm just going to make a couple more tunnels here, I think. That seems, seems like a good idea. Because you don't want to go over the landscape too much if you can just go through it that way the trains will run faster and on time so yeah i do have some stuff um planned out here are we not there my jesus christ look at this i am gonna bankrupt myself but that's that's you know railroad building it's a thing Let's make some more, some more thingies there. Okay, we're gonna have to go around this thing here. That's a little bit annoying. Um, since I've gotten home, I have stepped up the production of my games, especially mid boss. I am also working on Ultra Hat Dimension. We are gonna make that into a real game with real things and also real stuff. 
so you know do keep up to date on that by subscribing to my channel or my twitter or my tumblr i have a tumblr now i i immediately regret that decision but i do have a tumblr now bridgehead's not at the same level i'm not even gonna bother trying to go around this body of water i'm just gonna go over it i i've i like to live dangerously don't you like to live dangerously if you like to live dangerously like comment favorite and subscribe or something or just you know think of your poor mother Um, and, of course, Train of Thought will be coming um, back weekly, hopefully, if I can keep that up. More tunnels. So yeah, DIY is going to hopefully come out either this week or next week. And then we're going to have the subscriber special. I also want to do another series which is like a proper Let's Play where I'm not just rambling while playing with trains. Um, so... That's going to be a thing, but that's... See, I want to talk to you guys about something. I mentioned a Patreon before, and I'm still kind of thinking of doing it. I know a, a, a couple of people, at least, want more videos from me. I don't know why, because I'm frankly not that good, but, you know, that's their prerogative. Uh, who, who am I to question? How does this even... Oh, that's what that looks like. Okay, that's fine then. Um... But yeah, who am I to question what people want? I I am just me. Um, but yeah, I, I do also need to run a successful indie game development studio, which is kind of time consuming, really, when you get down to it. So I could do a Patreon and then like set some level if I get X number of dollars or euros or whatever a month, I can make an extra video a week, hopefully. I mean, I, I, I would have the theoretical capability. Um, oh, that's that's actually bad. Let's just do that like, like so. Just a little, yeah. Um, do you guys think that I should do that as a sort of um, per video thing? Should I, or per X number of videos? Should I do it a monthly? I, d I don't really know Patreon. I did, it's not really my thing. I didn't want to do that at all. I didn't want to do that either. I'm just fudging all um, all the wrong things. So if you have an opinion, I would very much like to hear it. Because I am, like, it. basically, I want to do more of this, but I don't, I can't spare the time. If I do DIY between like editing and, and recording, train of thought isn't too bad, but editing takes a while. But DIY is like, okay, record like a couple of minutes, then code for like 10 minutes, now record a couple of minutes, as you will soon find out. And if I also have to do a let's play on top of that and like train of thought, and it's, it, the time crunch gets a bit bleh, if you know what I mean. What did I do here? Oh, I did a thing there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, do that. And then we have to put signals on this entire thing here. Oh my god! Who decided that this was a good idea? And these people, they're all gonna hate me. That's fine though. Getting used to municipalities hating me. So yeah, what do you what do you guys think about me doing a Patreon to to be able to give you more content? The, you know, put your thoughts in the in the comments. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm sorry, I'm I'm gonna stop the like, favorite, and subscribe thing. It's very annoying. I understand. It's just a meme. I don't actually need you to do that. Although if you do want to. Yeah, I have to look at this again because I forgot how to do it. Okay, so you have a yellow incoming and a normal outgoing and then you have the upstanding grey ones there. Okay, that's fine. That is definitely a thing I can do. Although this, this uh, episode seems a lot more talky. So that's a good thing, I guess. You know what? Let's just, let's just build here for you know, 
bits and giggles. So I want these there, then I want... Was it... Was it a... a... It is a horizontal yellow. I've lost the ability to signal. Oh, and then I want them all on the same side because that is a mess if you don't do that and you ever connect those up. Okay, so right hand side is incoming. That's fine. I also want to, to actually thank everyone who subscribes to this channel because that's that's great. Actually, let's just put this off. How do we do that? Fixtures. Yeah, let's just put those down. No, I don't want your shitty thing. Is it control to? Oh, they won't allow it. Well, you know, boo on you too. Let's just do this then. Yeah, I wanted to thank everyone. Sorry, I'm doing the thing again where I start a sentence and then I don't finish it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go here. Okay, so if, if this is incoming, then this is outgoing. This is riveting, isn't it? Me building a railway through the entire map just to move some oil. I wonder... Well, actually, this is a good way to do it, honestly. Because... And I didn't finish my sentence again. Oh my god, I am basically the worst. But this is the, the best way to do this kind of thing. Because... Um... Just because... Because I said so. Don't question my authority. Now, the, the further you transport materials, the more the price. So, Furs actually does a good job at, at putting stuff far away, but a little bit too much of a good job, if you ask me. Let's just remove these and put them right in front of the thing. But yeah, if you subscribe to my channel, I am very, very grateful. I, I really enjoy the fact that I can make things and then people watch them. And then hopefully people are entertained by the, by the thing I made that they watched. You know, that's like a little Christmas miracle. That, that age of internet Christmas miracle, not on Christmas, in the middle of summer. Unless you're in Australia or New Zealand or one of those other countries, in which case it is middle of winter anyway, but it's still not Christmas because they have Christmas in summer. Which is all to say thank you very much for being here. I do appreciate the fact that you exist. Yes, even you. I don't know who, are, who I was talking to there. If you feel like I was talking to you, well, good job. That is, this is not right at all, is it? No, this, this would not work in, in practice. Just look at that money going up. How how long am I? Twenty minutes. Okay, I've I've started rambling. I'm gonna um, take a little break, finish up these signals, get some trains going, and then I'll bring you back to close up. Okay, okay. See you in a bit. I am briefly bringing you back because it's that time again where we have to pick a thing, a train. I think I want one with decent horsepower this time, even if the running costs are a bit high, and def definitely decent speed, so... Um, this is... what's the highest speed that I can currently get? 125, 136... 5... lots of horsepower... Has a high running cost... that's fine... Oh, these are rail buses. They don't connect to anything yet. Well, thank you for telling me, game. If only you had done so sooner. 202 kilometers, lots of horsepower.
What is the running costs of this versus the other one? I'm just gonna get the. Um, oh wait, this is a uh, intercity, isn't it? Hmm, that might not be the best thing. But this is only like. Hmm. Wait, this is another rail vehicle. It says like carriage capacity. No. And it says loading speed, speed slow. That's not what I want at all. I want a normal train. Give me a normal train. Your average cool engine. I will decide which engines are cool. How dare you. Oh man, that's a big running cost a year. It's also not that fast. Is there anything that is fast? Do we have any fast engines? Clearly we don't. Okay, that's... That's great, guys. Where was the one I found? I guess I'll get this one. It doesn't look very reliable, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are these? No, this is... These are the weird ones again. I don't want the weird ones. Oh, I'll get this one. That's fine. What what country is even that? Can you see that, that flag? Do you know what country that is? Because I don't know what country that is. Okay, I have chosen a train. I will bring you back when trains are doing things. Choo-choo! We have trains. They're five tiles long. I think this station is one, two, three, four. It is not five tiles long. I am an idiot. Uh, just, just do a thing. Number of tracks, two. Platform length, one. Wrong orientation. There. Now it's five tiles. One, two, three, four, five tiles. Because it tells you how long the thing is. Also, I found this thing, which is interesting. So I was buying these ones because they're alcohol, chemicals, milk, oil, and petrol. But then I was like, hey, there's another tanker looking thing there. And that's just chemical or some petrol. And it costs a little bit more a running cost, but it also holds like 7,000 litres more of stuff, which I thought was interesting. What am I carrying, actually? Yeah. Okay, let's see how well this goes. And then um, we shall wrap up. So yeah, the YouTube channel is, is back in business. Um, yay, so happy. Midboss is being developed again. I'm also working on Ultra Hat Dimension. I've started my new series, so everything is good. I may start a Patreon, depending on response. Probably nobody wants to pay me, which I wouldn't blame them. So that's filling up. Let's, let's just speed that up a bit. And then open up his details and see how much money he's losing. That is interesting to me. Look at him go. So everything is good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. Everything is, is great. 7,000. Oh my god. Is this going to make me enough money? I think it's about to pull into the station. Fingers crossed, guys. Yay! Happy, happy, joy! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Lots of money! That's how I like it. Okay, so that was building a transcontinental oil railroad thing. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Especially all the money at the end. It kind of makes all the placing signals tediously and track tediously almost worth it. So, that's the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!